all right guys welcome back there is another big release and it's flux 2 and uh we're gonna dive in and see what it's all about we're gonna do some stress tests all right guys welcome to the sketch lab all right guys so black forest labs released flux 2 uh we've been waiting for this for a while now and obviously this is going to compete against nano banana pro all right guys so we are in the flux playground and you can actually go to playground.bfl.ai i will leave the link in the description down below and a pretty easy user interface the flux 2 is already selected here you can actually customize sizes and save them as presets in your upper right hand corner and uh, so we're going to test out a few images. So it said we can actually upload up to 10 reference images. All right. So here are the three images we're going to use. And uh, and we're going to go ahead and create a, uh, a scene here. So it's going to understand what it will do with the background. So we're going to go ahead and click generate with this black arrow here. Let's see what happens. So then um, it will automatically create four images uh per generation you can actually change that with your batch size with this uh setting here all right so here is the result guys and uh yeah that's pretty amazing it, it also has the reflection um in the water there so that's pretty that's pretty cool all right let's check out the other one all right i love that it adheres to the style uh of the background as well so it all like meshes together well really really good job all right so he's standing in the water yeah that's pretty cool all right so let's uh create another scene here all right so here are the next three images that we're going to use here all right and then we'll go ahead and click generate all right guys so here's the result of the uh, new background yeah that's pretty cool all right and let's see the next one here yeah that's pretty incredible yeah that's cool what do you guys think about that i love the style i love that it um the the character consistency is really well done yeah i really like this that's a it's a really good model it is actually really great with um anime style or 2d 2d style so um all right so let's uh push it a little further here all right so i'm gonna re-upload this image here and i wanted to see if they can create a different camera angle all right and click generate all right guys so here is the results all right it kind of changed their pose a little bit and then the back uh look like looks like the front um all right so that's okay yeah i mean it's not perfect but it's good I like the uh i like the style of that um yeah so it could be a little better um like the the background uh it didn't change it just pretty much just changed the uh, rotation of the character so this seemed to be like an ongoing issue with these tools uh it seems like it's not able to you know change the angle of the scene as well all right so the next test is i'm going to see if it can actually have like uh have zero in a different pose so here are the two images that i've uploaded and there's the pose there and i'm gonna say character and image one in the pose of image two all right let's go ahead and generate that all right so here's the result and uh yeah it did a fantastic job uh it did it it did it perfectly so here are the two reference images that i provided and on the right is the result i mean the pose is spot on really awesome so if you guys are um, struggling to draw your your poses um you know you can find references online on pinterest and um, have your character in that pose or you can take a picture of yourself of uh, of a specific pose 
um, and then you can use Flux 2 to create that pose. So um, it did a fantastic job and also kept the style too uh, of the character. All right, so let's try a different pose. All right, guys, so here's the result here. And yeah, the pose is spot on. Um, the only thing is they added like the stripes in the arm. So I'll just probably have to re remove that with uh, Photoshop. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, it did a, it did a great job. Um, here's another, there's another result here uh, that I liked, uh, but the, the pants, it basically like took the post reference and combined it with the character. Uh, that's okay. You know, you got to do post work sometimes too. So that's not a big deal, but I love the style of love that it kept the, the style consistent and the pose is, is spot on. So yeah, fantastic job. So let's try another pose. All right, guys, so here's the other pose. Again, really good job. Look like this one adhered better to uh, the previous one. And uh, yeah, really good job. Uh, here's some other results here. Uh, this one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not as good as the other one, but it did it did pretty good. This one here. He's sweating. Makes sense because he's running, but he's a superhero, so he shouldn't be sweating. But anyway, pretty good. All right, so here's another result. Uh, same pose, different character. And uh, yeah, did a pretty good job. Um, it actually just, it knew what to do with the gun because, I mean, originally the pose didn't show a gun. And uh, yeah, I think it did a great job. So I think Flux is really powerful when it uh, comes to uh, pose reference as well. So I really, I really like that a lot. All right, so we're gonna do a test and we're gonna restyle an existing uh, image and we're gonna use Boy Punch Man uh, scene and we're gonna see if we can make it photo real. Uh, we did one for Nano Banana Pro. Uh, so here's the text prompt. Show me the live action film version of image one. Use Asian male character or actor. And let's go ahead and generate that. All right, here's the result. And uh, yeah, it did a pretty good job. Okay. Um, but I mean, comparing to Nano here, I think Nano did a better job. But let's check out the other result here. Yeah. So yeah, it did a pretty good job, but Nano is still better. It and actually the resolution is better on Nano as well. It's uh, in Nano you can do up to 4K resolution, and uh, this one looked like it's capped at 2K right now. So, um, but yeah, I do like Nano Banana Pro's result better. Uh, let's try another one. All right, so here's the other scene, and so here's the uh, the result. I used a uh, one of the scenes from Akira and here's the live action result and uh, yeah, they did a great job. Uh, where's the other result here? Yeah, I like this one. This one is a little better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I did a good job on that one. All right. And so uh, let's take that same prompt and image and uh, compare it to uh, Nano Banana. All right, so here's the result from Nano Banana. It's a lot better, honestly, um, compared to Flux 2, as you can see. So here's the comparison. Yeah, the Nano Banana is definitely much better when it comes to um, quality detail all right guys i'd love to hear your thoughts about flux 2 i think it's a a really good image model uh the detail is in my opinion it's not uh there yet uh compared to nano banana pro and uh but i think it's uh it's promising and it's able to upload up to 10 reference images uh, which is great. Uh, as far as pose references, it does a it, it does a fantastic job. This first ever Sketch Lab workshop will be next week on Friday, December fifth at seven p.m. Eastern Time, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. So click the link down below so you can purchase your spot, and it's going to be a private Zoom. Once you make the purchase, uh, I will I will email you a link to the workshop. So I look forward to seeing you there. All right, in the spirit of Thanksgiving. 
I am thankful to all of my subscribers here. Uh, thank you for all your support. Thank you for even just watch, taking the time to watch my videos. And I am so grateful and thankful for you guys. So make sure you hit, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Love to hear from you. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.